Hello, all right. Yeah, I've got the bass on today. I'm using a different cloud lifter type device in the Triton, which has a germanium diode in it. Hopefully it'll be a bit warmer. Close up again, obviously, because of ambient noise in the room. So it's bass o'clock. We've got the Laney Digbeth Pre. Uh, did the unboxing some time ago. Finally getting around to doing a bit of a, a playthrough with it. Got the ringer bringer in front, the ring modulator, because I thought it would be a bit of fun on the bass. And I've got the halo in the loop just to demonstrate the loop, really. Uh, also a bit of fun. So I'm going through the out of the Digbeth is going to the FX return of the Cub 12R. So we're just going through the power section of the Cub 12R. So I've turned the presence and the reverb down because they're the only things that affect the power section. So everything else is the preamp. Obviously going through the, the power tubes, a couple of power tubes on the Laney. Speaker out into the two notes captor. And then I've got, I'm going on the DI out. It's in bass mode, DI out to the input here just going through an analog compressor just a little bit of analog compression before going into the ssl12 at 32 bit the di out is going out to another compressor uh, again a little bit of gentle compression so you've got an idea of what it's like going through an amp and direct from the device itself both sound pretty good to me but I'll, I'll give you a little bit of an example. Here is the, the Digbeth DI out into a compressor. So got all the EQ in the middle, tilt is in the middle, and I'm just on the FET, FET mode. I'll give it a bit of tube. Um, I'm on the P style pickup, volume roll back a little bit, tone on full. Okay, there we go, through the amp now. I haven't changed the settings there, but I will try the tube. Nice. So back to the FET mode, back to the DI, and play around with the EQ a little bit. So that's everything centered. I'm just going to roll the tilt forwards. I think it's a bit of an extreme bass cut. And roll the tilt backwards, quite the opposite. With the tube emulation. Full tilt. Nice. Minimal tilt. Cool. Okay, we'll do the same with the uh, feed coming from the amp. Full tilt. Full bass tilt. Very nice. Tube mode. Full tilt. Nice. 
all the bass. Wow, that's clipping the uh, input on the compressor. Full on. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the DI and I'm going to try the EQ and then the mix of the tube and the FET together. So it's the FET on its own. And then when you switch tube in, it brings the tube in with the FET. Like that, okay. Bass. All the way down. I can hear that all the way up. Back in the center. Okay, low mids, setting one, all the way down. All the way up. Setting two, all the way up. Slightly narrower. All the way down. And then setting three is a notch. Less noticeable, all the way down, all the way up. Nice. Back to the center, setting one. High mids, all the way down. So you're getting carried away, all the way up.
Oh, blimey. <laughs> I never intended that. Okay, I got completely lost in <laughs> the Digbeth pre. It's great for bass. It's great for bass sounds, which you can hear at the start. But, you know, if you want to use it as a tone sculpting tool, a scaping tool to make uh, bass scapes with bass pedal scapes, then I can highly recommend it, <laughs> along with the Warm Audio Ringer Bringer and the Keeley Halo. There's a little bit of noise creeping in there. I've got, you know, it's all analog connections. So, yeah, possibly something I need to sort out with the levels and everything else. But um, overall, thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it too. If you stuck with me this long, please subscribe. <laughs> Don't come this far on a video like that without subscribing, please. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Do you have the Digbeth Pre? How are you getting on with it? Do you have the Ringer Bringer? How are you getting on with that? Keely Halo on the bass. What about that? Um, the Harley Benton thingamy jiggamy. That thingamy jiggamy. Can't even remember what it's called. But it's uh, a very nice bass. You know? Cheap and cheerful. And um, come back and watch another video. My name's Matt. Hope to see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.